Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. We've got a clear evening forecast, so I'm going to make the most of it. So we've got Met Office saying it's clear, and Scope Night saying it's clear. So yeah, I'm going to be shooting with my William Optic ZS81 and a mono ZWO183 mono. Um, so I'm going to be using RGB filters. So I've got to try and get enough exposures to try and make a colour image through those three filters in one one evening. Which, looking at the weather forecast, if it stays as it's forecast, it should be okay. Um, the only problem we got tonight is typically it's pretty bright moon so we've got we've got the moon rising in the southeast um, it's, you can see it now it's pretty bright so it's like 81.7 percent illuminated which is not ideal for doing RGB imaging but because we've got a clear spell I'm gonna make the most of it so I will get back to you and uh, show you what progress you make. Yeah, so I've got my William Optic ZS81 and ZWO ASI183 mono uh, with the filter wheel, which I've got some RGB filters in there, and I think I've got, yeah, still got my HA filter in from the last session. Um, which I haven't finished yet, I promise I will get back to that image. Um, but we've only got one night and the moon's too bright to collect any narrowband data, so I'm just going to do a short exposures of RGB. Not only do I have the moon and this street light to contend with, also got neighbours light. Hopefully I'll turn that off later on. So yeah, I'll uh, get this thing polar lined. Right, so I'm polar lining on my PC in the house. Um, but to make it easier to do the outdoor bit, I just use my phone and just team viewer into my PC. Right, so I'm polar aligned. I've just pressed go, as you've seen on SG Pro. So we're, uh, yeah, we're, we're just going for a focus routine and then we shall be uh, imaging. Right, back in the wall now. That was interesting. Uh, literally, as soon as I set a plate solved, everything was going all right. Sat down to have my dinner and then I heard, uh, heard it PhD uh, losing the guide star and uh, the fog came down. Um, but yeah, literally like 10 minutes later it cleared up, so as you can see we've got some subs rolling in now. Uh, these these diffraction spikes on here, this is due to the um, phone cables about running overhead, which is, uh, is not ideal, but hopefully in about half an hour or so they should, uh, it should be well clear of the phone lines and we should start getting some, some better pictures. But when we put it through the stacking software, it it get rid of these anyway, it cancelled them out because I use um, Windsor's Sigma clipping in the stacking program. So yeah, so hopefully um, that should uh, that should look after that for me. So yeah, so as you can see we're on the red filter, 
as you can see we've got 15 subs in uh, a few weren't very good when the fog was coming over but yeah it's uh, it's not looking too bad so we'll move on to the green after this and then get some blue I don't know if to do any luminance on this target so we'll have to wait and see we'll, we'll see how it goes it'd be interesting to see the um, meridian flip later because last time when I did the meridian flip it, it didn't work very well at all um, well it didn't work actually the the mount carried on going past and luckily I caught it it was literally 10 minutes from crashing into the legs which is never that's never happened before but that's quite worrying so yeah I have to keep an eye on that I've got a timer set on my phone so if I fall asleep then I'll definitely uh, definitely be uh, awake to, to check that out so yeah so we've just had another one come in you can see the diffraction spike's gone off there we've got the last couple there but yeah they're not looking too bad it's, the ADU is a bit high but I am doing RGB imaging so it's probably expected and the moon's really really bright as well so we'll, uh, yeah we'll just see, see what we get it's just nice to nice to finally have a clear night and, and get set get set up. So I will leave you there, and if I don't get back to you later, I will see you in the morning. That was a successful evening. Managed to get uh, forty reds, forty five green, and forty blue subs, and also managed to get some darks in as well. So I got fifty darks done as well um, yeah so really really good did have a problem with SG Pro again I don't know if it's because I'm using an old version um, basically I never used to have an issue but this time every time it comes to do Meridian Flip it, it, it pauses it says um, do you wish to pause b before the flip um, but it, the mount keeps tracking so last time the the actual camera nearly hit the mount legs, but luckily I managed, I woke up just in time to to, to stop it. Um, so what I've had to do, I've had to cancel the um, sequence and then restart the sequence so it flips the other side of the pier. And that, but yeah, it's just a bit annoying. So if anybody knows why it's doing that, um, please comment below. I'd be uh, much appreciated. Um, so yeah, so yeah, you can see. What I've managed to get, so I didn't bother with any luminance because I had the street light, 82% moon, and the neighbour's light left on all night. Um, it's a bit of a nightmare, really, but I'm quite pleased how the image turned out. So yeah, so this this is the final final image. I'll um, I'll pop it up on the screen now, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.